Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today I'm going on a book crawl with one of my sisters and we are going on a London bookshop book crawl. We hit up five bookshops and I did also buy some books too. So let's go! The first bookshop we went to is Newham Bookshop which is a bookshop that's quite close to where my sister lives and she really wanted to show it to me and this was a lovely bookshop with a fantastic kids section. It had a whole shelf dedicated to middle grade which was huge. It had a lovely little young adult corner and then there was also quite a bit of non-fiction music books and I was so pleased to see the range of black and Asian authors that they have on their shelves and I just enjoyed browsing through. One of my favourite things is to see books by Canongate now that I work for them and also to see books that I've reviewed on the shelves. I just found that really fun and I picked up a book while I was there. I picked up The Mermaid of the Black Conch by Monique Roffey and this is a book that I only recently heard about and added to my TBR. It's about a fisherman who catches something that he didn't expect, a mermaid, and he falls in love with her and as he falls in love with her she begins to change and I thought this was sounded so interesting, you know, mermaid stories, a black mermaid, what more could I want? So as soon as I heard about it, I had to add it to my TBR and now I have a copy of it. The second bookshop that we went to is Judd Books, which is a bookshop I have been to before, but I was introducing to my sister. And this bookshop just has so many bargain prices for books. I don't know how they can have books at those prices, but it's just really, really cheap. I think Amazon prices, but then you're in an actual bookshop, an independent bookshop and getting them for that price. Their selection changes quite a bit, so I definitely revisit as much as you want to and they have such a host of genres. I was definitely checking out their literature section the most but they also have biography, memoir, poetry, plays, the lot. Anything you want you can get. And I actually picked up two books from that bookshop. I picked up East of Eden by John Steinbeck because I saw this beautiful Penguin Classics edition and I have another Steinbeck in this edition as well. It's also one of my friend's favourite books which makes me intrigued. And the second book I picked up there is Sugar Bane by Douglas Stewart and this one is a beautiful hardcover that I found on their shelves for £5. That's what I mean when I say there's a bargain, they really do have such good prices. I could not pass this up and I especially got this on the recommendation from Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot, so looking forward to reading it. The next bookshop that we went to had to be Gay's The Word, it's on the same street as Judd Books so you can visit both in one short span of time. I've been to that shop multiple times now, it's actually one of my favourite independent shops, if not my favourite independent bookshop. Gaze the Word is a bookshop that stocks LGBT plus authors and characters and nothing else. So you're definitely getting all of the queer fiction and all of the queer authors and I think that is absolutely fantastic. And while I was there I had to get a book. One of my favourite things about visiting that shop is the staff because they're always so nice and so lovely, had a little bit of a chat with the person at the checkout counter and just people being very nice with me standing in the way while I was taking photos and vlogging. The staff are just great there. One of the books that I picked up is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe and this is a booktube darling book. I've seen everybody reading it and absolutely loving it. I believe it's a lesbian fiction book which is historical fiction and it's about this girl who is discovering her sexuality and she is an immigrant and it's talking a bit about the immigrant experience from her parents, her culture and her relationship and I've just seen glowing reviews everywhere so I wanted to try it for myself. The next bookshop that we went to wasn't actually on our list of bookshops to hit up but we thought why not because it's only a walk away from Judd Books and Gaze the Word and that is Word on the Water. This is a bookshop that is in a boat so it's on a canal and I've been there before as well but it was drastically changed because I went a few years ago and it was all second Hand books but now they've also got some new books as well as secondhand books so it was really nice to see they had lovely music playing so it was just such an aesthetic bookshop to be in and I didn't pick up anything there but I just love that bookshop and I definitely recommend checking it out and we finished our bookshop crawl at Book Bar, which is a independent bookshop that opened while I was not in London. So as soon as I came here, I definitely wanted to go. It's a bookshop, but it's also a wine and coffee bar. So you can buy yourself a book and then sit down and order yourself some wine or coffee, which I think is absolutely lovely. I believe they have cakes too. And the people there again were just so very nice. And I had to pick up one last book 
and that is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman and I don't really know that much about this book other than it's got elderly characters and it's crime fiction but I picked this one up because it's been high in the best-selling charts for so long and also because I realized that Richard Osman is the guy in Pointless and once I realized he was one of the hosts of Pointless I decided I had to read it because I am that kind of fan of Pointless so I will be getting to this one at some point. To finish off our lovely bookshop crawl, we went to get dinner at this lovely ramen place, I had a katsu curry, and we also went to a rooftop bar to have a drink and end out the night. It was a beautiful, lovely day. I hope you enjoyed coming with us and seeing what books I ended up hauling in. And yeah, maybe I'll do another bookshop crawl because there were other bookshops we wanted to go to, but we didn't get the chance to. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't you forget to hit the notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say, onwards and upwards. Excelsior!